Hello everyone, Babenchi here. In this video I'm gonna test 10 different Minecraft shaders on GTX 1650. Let's start with GPU specs. GPU is TU117 on 896 CUDA cores, 12 nanometers TSMC lithography, 128 bit memory bus width, and 4 GB GDDR6 VRAM. GPU is in lower mid range segment, so power consumption is only 75 watts. Tested on new upgraded i7 12700KF CPU. You can learn more about that controversial upgrade in my previous video. Full specs on the screen. All shaders are tested on these settings. Yeah, 32 chunks are too much for 1650, but I decided to test in a hardcore mode. Let's start with Bliss shaders. These shaders look kinda bright, but have small contrast. Blocks corners look strange, and I can even see shadows under trees. While breaking blocks, cracks look super bright, and not natural, really strange. What about performance? At first look, game runs well, about 40-60 FPS. But the more you explore world, more VRAM is filling up. And finally, games start to stutter horrible, because VRAM is not enough. Like I said, lowering render distance is gonna help you raise performance. In the caves, we see quite a big contrast. And being in cave is more comfortable for eyes. What about FPS? Dips to low 40s, gone. Here FPS can even reach 80. BSL shaders. The first that I see is more contrast here. Visuals just look more realistic. We can notice some post FX like flares and bloom on bright objects in dark places like caves. Compared to Bliss, the image in the caves looks less contrastive. What about performance? It's good. Minimum FPS is 40, average 50, 60. In cave FPS vary from 50 to even 100. Chocapic 13. Personal for me, these shaders looks bad. It just feels strange. Grass looks unnatural, dark. It looks fake, cause we see light from the sun, but environment is not that exposed, compared to how bright the environment should be lightened by the sun. Original Minecraft clouds didn't toggle it off, like in other shaders. Minecraft clouds mixed with shader clouds looks bad. No mist on far objects, so I didn't feel depth and the world feels like GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition. What about performance? It's bad. Very inconsistent FPS, jumping from 20 to 50, but there's no stutters related to VRAM. But in caves we have way different situation. FPS is over 100, but in some places can drop to 50, really inconstant. Caves look dark and contrastive, creating a good dark atmosphere. Complementary Unbound I've made a lot of videos with these shaders. It's really my personal favorite. These shaders don't try to make Minecraft look realistic. It just implements own unique style. We can see small mist on the far objects. Complementary shaders just feel like official shaders from the Mojang. Here performance is good. Next in this video gonna be shaders with a better performance, but compared to previous, complementary shaders is better optimized. There are no drops to 30s or issues with VRAM. Mostly time I got 50 FPS and it's with 32 chunks renderer. Cave look not that realistic, like in other shaders. It is just original Minecraft, but with advanced lighting and shadows. Performance in caves is ideal, lower than 60 
I didn't notice. Photon shaders. It literally looks very similar to complementary, but more contrastive. Photon shaders have a unique active clouds feature. Clouds interfere between sunlight and ground, that create dynamic shadows. Exploring the world, you can get other these shadows. It feels weird, but cool. Performance a little bit better than complementary. Caves looks more contrastive, that leads to bright light sources, just blinds. Any issues with performance here? Rethinking voxels. The most interesting shaders. It is an edited version of complementary shaders, and it follows the same visual style, but it also has colored light with ray traced shadows, and more. The most performance hurting shaders in Minecraft. At daytime outside, it's not that visible difference between complementary, but you have to go down into cave to see all incredible rethinking voxels features. Every block casts sharp shadows, even player character cast, but it's not working on mobs. Lighting is not ideal in all situations, because light doesn't bounce that much time and that leads to unlighted areas. It's better to say nothing about the performance, you everything see clearly in the video. Said that creeper explosion doesn't cast any light. Seuss renewed. Again, flat shaders without any mist. Now I really understand how important the feeling of the depth in the game is. Very strange reflection on the water. No other shaders have such buggy water reflections. Performance is not great, but at least stable 40-50 FPS, without any big drops or FPS rises. In the caves the situation is bad. It's too dark and the image has yellowish-greenish tint. It doesn't even look like a cold cave. Performance in caves better than outside. Shrimple. I don't know, maybe it's my problem, maybe shader itself, but Shrimple looks like a shit. Seriously, just look at that blurry image with ghosting. These shaders are trying to add ray traced lighting and shadows, but rethinking voxels do it 100 times better. And even the performance of rethinking voxels are better than Shrimple. In caves performance is better. But visual quality again doesn't reach rethinking voxels level. Let's pretend we didn't see that. If complementary shader stop exists, I will definitely choose Silver's Vibrant. It again adds own unique style to the game. Visual of these shaders looks like from official Minecraft update trailers really saturated and vibrant looking. It reminds me how Two Saint from Witcher 3 looks like, but for such beauty you have to pay with performance from 40 to 30 FPS. If you reduce chunks distance, that number is gonna rise. What about caves? It looks dark. Personally, I don't like that kind of visuals. Performance is a little better than outside, but still it depends on the situation. Solas shader. Shaders looks okay, beyond one moment, super unrealistic shadowing. Here the sun is shine directly into the trees, but the objects in the shadows are too dark and lose every detail. In overall, blacks are crashed too much. 40 FPS on average, not the best quality performance ratio.
caves looks better. I really like that orange glowing effect around lava. It makes feeling that lava heating up air around. Ores are shining. It can be called cheating, because it's easier to find ores, and it's not realistic. Because in real life ore doesn't shine. But I like the visual style, the cave looks good. FPS is a little more than outside. After tested these shaders, I group it into three groups. Yes, maybe and no. Yes group. Complementary, rethinking voxels, Sildus Vibrant, Photon and BSL. Maybe group. Solas and Bliss. No group. Shrimple, Chocapic 13, Seuss Renewed. Thank you for watching. Write in the comments what you think about these shaders, how it should be classified. What is your favorite and what is your least favorite? If you like the video, subscribe and leave a like. See you next time.